Um, my name is Daryl Breslin. I went to racing school. I finished in de de mm. December. I've been at Henry Cecil's for six months. Before Henry Cecil's, I knew nothing about racing. So it just shows you basically that without any experience, like, you can always get into a good yard. As long as you're willing to put the effort in and the hard work into it and all the tutors and all that you really want it, you can always get into a good yard. Um, Basically, um, racing. Um, I start off the day, uh, get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, um, muck three me horses out. When you muck them out, you've got to sort of clean, obviously, you clean the waters, fill them up, and, uh, and like if you're putting bales in, sort of move the banks, make sure it's all nice and tidy, tidy, make sure like that you're doing your best, basically. Like, as long as you're doing your best mucking out, you should be okay. And like, if you need any help or whatever, there's always there's always people to ask. So you just ask people if you need any help. Am I doing this right, or oh, what am I doing wrong? And like, after then, after when I've mucked out, uh, I'll go back to the hostel, get changed, and then uh, I'll come back, and then uh, I'll ride out two or three lots, and then uh, go get my tack and tack up. But like when you're tacking them, you gotta make sure um, they're all nice, neat, and tidy. No, nothing's rubbing on the skin, so it won't irritate the horse. Cause like if you got something irritating the horse, they'll end up doing rodeo around the yard, <laughs> which uh, you'll probably end up falling off or something like that. So you don't want that. And uh, you obviously like like when you see like say. When you see the photos and like the videos of like riding out and stuff like that, you oh yeah, I really want to do that. Like some people might feel, oh yeah, it's, it's quite easy, but actually it isn't. To, like to be honest, like because like five o'clock start, five till twelve, and then you gotta come back like in the evening as well. Like say at four, or, like I would start half three anyway, so I make sure that I can do my horses. Like and then uh, you know I finish for about. Part six or something like that. So it isn't it isn't easy work. Like you got to put the effort into it, and you've got to love the job as well. Cause that is all. Of, that's what it's all about. If you love it, it'll make it easier. Riding race horses is it's, it's totally different from riding ponies. Like they just. They just, like they just they feel a lot different like than riding, riding ponies like ponies is like like yes it's it's an enjoyment thing but riding race horses is like it's your job and like you've got to do best for the race horse you've got to make sure like what's best for this race horse like like I don't want to be pushing it too far like too fast I don't want it to be tied up like you, you've got You've got to listen and make sure you do best for the racehorse. Like, because at the end of the day, the racehorse is there to win races. So, yeah. That's really and do you get given like instructions from the boss on what you have to do, and you have to ride to those instructions? Um, like you've got you've got to, you've got to always listen to instructions as well. Like, and if you don't if you don't hear them, like ask someone as well, because the boss. Cause like when you, cause like when you pull out, yeah, go around the trotting ring for a bit. Like depending if your horse is trotting or if it's going out. If it's going out, the boss might say, um, do one steady and one ordinary, or like just do one steady. And like, um, if you what do, does that mean? What does like, one steady mean? One steady is just it's it's not it's not fast, but it's. It's a comfortable pace. That's, so that's what steady is. Good comfortable canter. Yeah, a good comfortable canter. That's what it is. Then like, in ordinary, it's like it's it's a bit faster than that. But it's not all about doing that. It's you've got to keep it at that pace all the way up. Cause like if you're sort of stop starting, stop starting, it doesn't mess the horse up a bit. It messes the people behind you up. Especially like if you're leading as well, you've got to keep a nice steady pace. So just try and make sure you listen, or if you're not sure, just ask.
quite, yeah, it is dangerous, right, because you can fall off and the horse can kick you in the head, like, and so you can be seriously hurt, like, you could break an arm or break a leg, and the horse could spook on on Warren Hill when, you, when you're cantering up and the horse flies out and you fly the other way, like, it is that it is dangerous, so you just got to try and be careful, like, try and be the best you can, like. I fell off loads of times, to be honest, like, it's just one of them things you just got to get up and sort of get over it and, and sort of go out, like, if, I remember when I fell, like, fell off at the bottom of Warren Hill, <laughs> and like, the horsemen are flying up Warren Hill, and like, I had to uh, run up after it, <laughs> so, as long as, as long as the horse is alright, just always try and make sure the horse is alright, and yeah, luckily she was, so that's good. <laughs> um, going racing, um, depending what you're doing, because you could be going to some like, say, Newcastle, where you might stay overnight, uh, to, uh, say, somewhere close to uh, two and a half hours away, where you just stay the day. Like, you've got a, and depending what time she's going at, or he, and depends how early you get ready. Like, when you go racing, obviously, you've got to make sure your horse is groomed, and obviously, like, um, the bandages on the feet, so they won't get caught, and, like, the boots, and all that stuff. If you need, like, a tail guard, you can always put that on. And, like, once you get the horse on, you got to stay with it for a good while to make sure the horse is settled. Is it, if it isn't settled and sweating, stay with it. But if it's okay and you know that, that, that should be fine all the way, you can have it sit down or something. And this is on the box, yeah? This, when you're, this, when you're travelling is, on the box? This is all on the box. And then uh, when you get there, <laughs> and, you're getting your, and you're getting off, um, you've got to put your head collar back on and open the gate thing and then you've got to climb under with the horse make sure the horse is settled and then um, whoever's with you will open the door saying right you're ready say right yeah I'm ready and then you'll, they'll open the door and then you'll pull, uh, take the horse off the box and then uh, you'll get booked in then you take the horse to the stable that you'll be staying at and then you go back sign in get your racing pass back and then uh, you will get your horse ready, or depending if it's running like later on, you'll have it, like say you get sort you get the horse sorted out like water and food and stuff like that, and then uh, you probably go off. You might have a sleep or something, or go downtown, depending on what you want to do, and then uh, you go back and say say a couple of hours before take the water away and the feed, and then then you go back. Uh, now for the race, get the horse ready, make sure it looks all neat and tidy, make sure everything's like spot on. And then you take it down well, you gotta make sure that you dress smart as well, like so. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do that. And then uh, you take it down to the parade ring, uh, walk it around until the jockeys come. And the jockeys come, they get on, um, you walk it down to the track, uh, and then uh, obviously like take like the chiffney off or whatever not really and then off off she goes and then after the race you get your horse back and depending if it comes first or something like that you might, you might take it to the winter circle or something winner's enclosure <laughs> yeah winner's enclosure and then uh, after that um you'll walk it around till it starts like panting breathing heavily like you'll you hold it down, make sure she's got all the sweat off her because if it dries, it can be bad for her. It's quite nasty. And then uh, after, when you, after when that's done, you take her, and um, if she's dry, like, you, can, you can give her like a, a scrub down with a brush or something, uh, pick her feet out and all that. Stuff. And uh, after that, uh, I think like, yeah, ready to go home then. So it's quite a long day, yeah, isn't it? It's a long day. Is it exciting now? Is it a good? Do you enjoy going racing? Yeah, it is good. I, mean, I do enjoy it. Uh, I like it anyway, so yeah. 
And is it nice to see all your hard work that you do every day in the yard? You know, it comes to a fi- you know the final point when you get to go to see it racing, all that hard work that you've been doing. Yeah, like especially if she comes first as well. It's like, yeah, I look after that filly, <laughs> sort of thing. So sort of that, yeah, that is good. But like, if she, like, don't be if she comes last or second last, don't be upset. Like, at least your horse has made it to the races. Like, and at least she's had a race. So just be chuck at that. And racing is like, especially if it's like some more like you enjoy it more. Like, the best thing about racing is like, it's like if it's like dead sunny and that, like it's 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 like it's one of the best jobs I reckon anyway to to be in. I love being with horses and I'm racing and that, but like that's me. It could be like it is hard work. Like you don't go into racing all that. Like, I love ponies, I love horses, like, I really want to work in the yard and stuff like that. But, like, you, you've got to put the effort in, like, you can't be one of them people say, like, oh, like, I love horses, but, like, I want to, uh, I want to do, I want to get up early in the morning to do my hair and makeup and all that stuff. Like, you, you just won't last long, because there's no point doing your hair and makeup when it's just going to get, like, dirty, because, like, if you're mucking out and we and stuff like that, so there's no point. Like you, you've really got to commit. It. You've really got to commit to it and not really be bothered by it and really love it. That's what. That's what loving the job is about. Thank you.